What is up, YouTube? Long time no see. Very sorry for that. Life has been um, insanely busy. Um, it's one of those things that um, that had to go by the wayside during um, the craziness of my life. And everything we've got going on was YouTube. But I want to get back into it. I want to get back into doing videos. And it starts with this. So this is, um, some of you might recognize this. I did, would not have. I had never heard of this company until I started looking. This is from Jacoji. I wanted to order, and I've always wanted one of these, um, a gold chain. I didn't want um, any plated gold. I didn't want any um, rolled gold or hollow gold chains. I wanted a solid gold chain. And yes, I know right now is a terrible time to buy gold. Um, gold is at like an all-time high right now, especially in 2023. But um, alas, I don't make smart decisions all the time. And I wanted this and my wife wanted me to get one because she likes to look. Um, I've been wearing um, chains kind of like this. Um, you know, plated silver, plated gold, decent quality, um, but I never had, um, this is my Lord of the Rings ring that I actually got in New Zealand uh, on location at Hobbiton. And this is very prized to me and it is plated in 14 karat gold. Um, not solid, but um, very well done plating and hopefully will last me a long time. And it is the exact replica of the one used in the movie but this is not about that. So we'll put that aside. I've always had kind of, um, you know, designery type um, necklaces and my wife really, really likes the look of a very simple, very small, specifically gold chain. And so I ordered one. This brand is Jacoji. Let's get it open and take a look. They, um, from what I understand, this guy um, who owns Jacoji, he's a young guy, probably around my age, I think maybe a little bit older, um, he is a very big presence on YouTube, so definitely look up Jacoji and you'll see tons of videos. He's, um, the way I dork out about knives and stuff, he dorks out about jewelry and quality. From what I understand, um, he is very big into uh, sourcing the very best Italian chains. Solid gold, no rolled gold, solid gold. Mine's 14 karat. Um, everything I've read about his chains and have heard about them have been very, very positive. People that have bought from him um, have taken their pieces to jewelers and gotten them checked out. And they have always said that they are of the best quality in the game. So I trust um, everything I've done, all my research, I trust him the most um, from buying online specifically. Jackson um, is another one that I think people trust a lot. They do sell solid gold. You have to dig on their website a little bit. Um, it's J-A-X-X-O-N. I looked at theirs. Their prices weren't quite as good as, um, so that's the other thing. This guy doesn't have, it seemed like a, a fleet of people to pay, so he has fair prices on gold. You're not gonna get a discount on gold. Like gold is, it costs what it costs. It's a commodity. So whatever gold is going for per gram at that or per ounce at that time, that's what's basically what you're going to pay. What you're paying, which you, which you can uh, judge them on, is the discount. You know, uh, as far as like making a piece of jewelry and the quality. That's the things you can judge them on as far as um, the gold itself costs what it costs. But what is their cost to make the piece and the quality of the piece? That's where you kind of can split hairs. And so as far as I know, they make a good one. This is a very, very small rope chain. Again, gold's expensive. I, I think I paid $500 for this piece. It is very small. It's I wouldn't go any smaller. This might, I, I, I don't really know what to expect. Um, I think it's gonna be a good size. Yeah, I can already tell this is gonna be, I think it's gonna be perfect for me. Um, the thicker you go, this is two mils. Um, the thicker you go, the more it costs. So I got a 20 inch, man, that's beautiful, dang. Um, Boy, it sure does not look very long though. I hope it really, I hope it's not too tight. Um, 20 inches is what I would say would be probably the smallest um, size uh, for your neck. Um, this one is, I think, 24. Let's look. Okay, this is going to be perfect. Never mind. That one might be 22. That's actually probably 20 as well. Okay, perfect, because this one is plenty long. So I think we're going to be good. Um, I know you can't tell on the camera. Here we go. 
Um, this is a what I would consider a kind of a cheaper, I think this is like a $50, $60 chain. It's a plated chain, uh, and they're both, per this is, I love this size, so I think I'm going to be golden. <laughs> that was funny. Um, so 20 inch, uh, two mils, solid 14 karat gold chain. Um, all the research I've done into gold, 14 karat is kind of the sweet spot. Um, again, if you don't know about gold, you know, 14 karat, 10 karat, t up to 24 karat, it has to do with the proportion of actual gold, solid gold in your chain. Um, gold is a very soft uh, metal. Um, and so when you get up into the higher proportions of gold, it's going to be softer, more prone to breaking, more prone, prone to scratching. Um, and it's just more pliable and malleable. And 14 is what I've been told is a very good sweet spot for jewelry if you want it to have some longevity to it and not um, break. Um, these are made in Italy. Um, they have the Jacoji symbol on one side, 14K. Uh, solid 14 karat gold um, in the 14 karat uh, proportion, that is. Um, some other uh, structural metals have been um, added to that to give it the rigidity and stuff that you need for jewelry. So um, beautiful piece. They say, This is my first solid gold piece. And um, uh, from what I understand, the way Jacoji does their polishing, the way they, they finish is top notch. I don't really have anything to compare it to, so I'm not going to act like I'm an expert, but I will say when people say you get a solid gold piece, um, it definitely has a weightiness to it. And again, this isn't by no means a very big piece, but it is definitely weighty. You can tell right off the bat when you have something like that and you have something like this, there's, there's truly, and I know this is a different cut. This is a rope chain, and I can't remember what this is called, um, but there's definitely no, you can tell. And I think that, you know, a, a jeweler, really now that I have this, I think I'll be able to tell from now on because it really is pretty drastic. If I was to hold like a rope chain that was rolled gold and hollowed gold, um, I think I would definitely be able to tell the difference after holding this. And this is a very small two mil. So I think I plan to get a three to three and a half eventually in a different, um, not a rope chain, something different. Um, I love the simplicity of the rope chain. I think it's timeless. I think it looks good. It's masculine at the same time. Um, I might get like a Cuban link or something in three mils. Um, you're going to have to drop probably about 1500 to two, two grand at gold prices uh, for that right now. Um, so it's just very expensive. And um, But I'm impressed. Jokoji shipping was uh, FedEx. I got it in the two days that they said I would get it in. Signature um, packaging has been excellent. Um, they did have, and I don't know if it's a shortage. This is a really nice bag too. Um, I think they, that's pretty well done. Um, they did have a shipping delay. So I, I think it was either due to the 4th of July weekend, but it took about 10 to 12 days for this to ship, but it said it very distinctly on the website that, Hey, there's a shipping delay. We're not shipping packages until after this date. That was completely accurate. The date came and went and then they shipped it. Um, they were either on vacation or, uh, had a sourcing issue from Italy, which I've heard happens from time to time, and they had to wait for them to come in stock. I don't know, but um, they set it up front. So I'm very impressed with the company. I'm impressed with the piece, the shipping. So far, I haven't worn it yet. Obviously, this is brand new, um, but everything checks out. Um, this piece I paid 500 bucks for at the time. Uh, it could be very different when you order, but 20 inch, two mils rope chain from Jacoji, 495. Uh, and then you do pay for shipping, uh, of course, because they it's a gold chain. So um, they're gonna, not going to be able to absorb that cost like they would on something else that's super cheap. So um, check it out, guys. Um, I really like the simplicity of a good gold chain. I think they last a lifetime. You can pass them down. And I think they're uber masculine, but also classy at the same time. Uh, not too into the pendant game, and my wife isn't either. Uh, my wife thinks these are, in her words, um, sexy. So uh, anytime she uses that word, I typically um, listen. So, and you should too. Anyways, this has been a long video. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, hit the like button if you haven't. I really appreciate it, and I'll keep pumping out more videos now that my hiatus is coming to an end. Uh, catch you in the next one. See ya.